ready, Sierra. I'm going to have you just scooch to the edge of the table. They should be on the edge of the table so you have full control of the arm. The median nerve test, you think of the median nerve, the path of it going down the medial upper arm and then the anterior forearm. So it's going this way. So the, the maneuvers are designed to bias that. And again, you're, it's, you're biasing that as a pattern, but you're obviously not isolating it only. I mean, there's muscles, a lot of muscles, tissues, bones, and joints that you're moving here. Just let me know if you have any complaints here, okay? So the first thing you're going to do for test one is you're not really going to uh, depress the shoulder. You're just going to make sure it's in neutral to start. You're going to abduct to about 60 degrees. <clears throat> going to do full external rotation and you want to make sure that each component is the end range and that's one of the mistakes uh, when you do in neurodynamics is you're not taking people to end range so full shoulder ER full elbow extension and I do full supination with my second arm and that way still with this with this hand I can control. I don't need to leave my hand here because if she hikes, I can kind of control that just by doing a little distraction. So I don't have to have the hand here because one of the things I noticed when I was taking this course from David Butler, most clinicians, even very seasoned clinicians and manual therapists, were not taking up the full tension in supination. It's one of the bigger mistakes, not getting to end range. Because if you don't, if her end range in supination is here, I might not get the end range and, and uh, might get a, a false negative versus it being positive. 